In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the scroll bar on your Framer site in just a couple of minutes. What is up, guys? It's G here with a quick tutorial for you today. You're going to see how easy it is to customize the scroll bar on your Framer site. So basically, what we're going to do is just add some simple CSS code to our website. I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can copy this, but I already have it here. Let's just copy that open our site settings. And since I want this to be applied to the entire site, I'm going to add this to the general tab. But if you just want this on a specific page, make sure to select that here first. So let's scroll down to custom code. You might need to be on a paid plan in order to use this. I'm on a free project, but my workspace is kind of old. The rules were a bit different. So just keep that in mind. Let's paste that code in the end of the hat tag save this and publish our changes now let's open the site and there we have it our custom scroll bar naturally for this case i chose colors that make sense with the page that i'm editing right now now i'm going to show you how to customize this so it matches your own brand the first value here is the width of our scroll bar so the default is set to six pixels and it would look something like this. I just increased the value so we can see what's going on, but you can change this to whatever you like. The second thing here is the color of the track. So you can see the track mark there. It's basically like the background. The third element here is styling the thumb, which is basically the part that's actually gonna move in our scroll bar. And you can see uh, 98E705 is the exact same color that I have here. And I also added some border radius. I think it gives off a more modern look, but you can set this to zero if you just want a squared off thumb. Lastly, we have an optional different color for when we hover over the thumb. So basically it would look like this when the user hovers over the thumb, you can set a different color. And down here we have just a fallback for the Firefox browser, which doesn't support this kind of styling, but you can still do a couple of things here. Um, I've set the width to thin in this case, and we can also change the color of the thumb and also the color of the track. So basically the first number here, the first color code is related to the thumb and the second color code is going to be the color of the track. And that is it for this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content coming soon. And let me know in the comments if you were able to implement this on your own site. I'll see you in the next one.